this has nurse cheered up at your water again. Yes, the machine is working fine, and if we could just get another service guy from now on. This one keeps trying to wander the premises, talk to patients. Sorry, I, I'm late. Um, you know where you're going? Yes, Dr. May's office. Thanks. I got put in here by mistake. I'm, I'm not sick. Dr. Rollins, you know where he is? Yeah, I know where he is, but I don't have what these people have. Yeah, me either. They're screaming. Can you bring me to the doctor? I'll tell you where the doctor is. I'm over here so he doesn't hear you. Marriage to him was accident. I answer ad. You understand? Oh, yeah. There's some woman, a Canadian man who wished to find wife. Oh, okay. And I see Henry, he's a good looking man, and he's polite, and he's easy to fall for, so why not get married? After he brings me here, he keeps me locked in house like prisoner. I cannot see friends. He forbids me to get job. Even to pee, he watches me. So I say, Henry, I must go, I must leave. And this is what I get for talking. He came to pick me up at the airport. I was coming down from Toronto. Uh, my family lives there. My mom's been really sick. And we're just kind of counting the days now, you know. Anyway, Alvin came to pick me up in Daryl's van. Uh, I'm sorry. Alvin is your boyfriend, and who is Daryl? Daryl, it's Daryl Cunningham, one of Alvin's friends. So uh, we're driving back from the airport, and we're just making small talk, you know, like, hi, how you been, that kind of stuff. And I notice this bucket in the back with a lid on it. It's one of those white builders plus buckets. Um, and I guess we were going really quickly because we take a corner and the bucket fell over. Something uh, fell out of it. Yeah. What was it? Um, it was a head. Everything's gonna be okay. No, it's not. The guy who delivers the, 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 the vending stuff. What? Yeah. She was here. But she's not here now. What does he mean? How much do you do that? I go up the road and I walk back to my house. Okay. Did you have your phone with you? Yes. You just had saw your husband drown in front of you at a bad car accident, got your face all beat up. You didn't think to call the police? I called the police and they sent me back to Russia. So I hide. I'm in trouble now, no? Yeah, you might be in some trouble. It's a very... I do. Except not in this case since they hadn't arrived yet. Somebody was here waiting with the body. Was that city homicide or RCMP? City homicide. Grumpy Japanese guy. I forget his name. We waited two, three hours. And eventually he suggested I might want to take my supper break early. Only recovery based books. Oh, and no cell phones to be. Uh, no cell phones? I, I need my music. But on the cell phone, you don't. Cell phone, please. Visiting hours are 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. daily. Approved visitors only. Use any kind of prohibited substance at all. You're out. Screw up. You're out. Leave without permission. You're out. You get the side of the room, the dresser, to share the adjoining bathroom. I have a room. Miss Smith, this is. She'll grow on you. She's got quite the imagination. Just don't physically touch her.